You know, it's interesting yeah. when, when Cody and I first started working together. So I was already, you know, Cody and I both had our own separate businesses before we ended up partnering together. And I actually had multiple businesses, a wife, a kid, you know, two, two kids, brand new baby. My baby was like five months old when I first met Cody and Cody and I would have to block out time to work together, right? Where we would either meet at Starbucks or we would, I would go to his condo and I would sit on his floor because this broke ass bachelor didn't have chairs. <laughs> he had one dry erase marker that was orange. Like I, it's, it scarred me that that was the only dry erase marker he had. He probably still has that orange marker to be honest. So we, but we blocked out time. I remember there was times where I would just lay on your, remember I would just lay down on your floor, Cody, and I would just make phone calls to sellers from my cell phone laying on my back and you were sitting in your desk working on stuff? Yeah, I'd be like looking, I'd have Podio like right here and then I'd like turn and I'd be like, all right, so this seller, this is a situation, call them. And then like you'd start calling and then I'm like scrolling. I'm like, all right, what's the next one for him to call after this one? And then like, all right, here's the situation with this one. Like, Right. So that's that's what I'm I'm getting at, Matt, is that I feel like you and your brother even though he's got his full-time job, you guys need to time block an hour a day or, you know, three hours on a Saturday or something like that, where you guys sync up physically together. And he only does integrator work. And he turns around, he says, get on the phone with this seller, get on the phone with this seller, get on the phone with this seller, get on the phone with the seller. With the seller. And that's all you do. And then when I would get a seller that was interested, I would walk outside and I would pace up and down Cody's condo um, complex and just lock sellers up over my cell phone. Okay. Like you've got a time block and get those times together. I do feel like if your brother's got his full-time job, it's really hard to pin him down. And so you're sitting there feeling like I got to do this on my own. It's got to get done or else it's or either I got to do it all or it ain't going to get done at all. Right. Yeah, me and my partner Shamir. Now, my brother is a visionary like me too. So that uh, oh, I, I dig your disaster. point, but but yeah, right. your point is valid. But still, yeah, yeah. So when do when do you and your partner uh, Shamir get together and time block and like actually physically talk about each lead as they're coming through and all that? Well, I mean, we talk throughout the day, but he's in Ohio actually. Like I said, he made okay. me off TikTok, so we're not physically meeting up. But, but, that, but physically all, could online. be Zoom. Right. Yeah, Physically yeah, yeah. It could be Zoom where you guys are on Zoom with each other and he says, hey, he's, I'm, he's screen sharing Podio with you or whatever CRM right. you're using. And he goes, right. hey, here's this lead. We need to call this. And you call that seller right there while you're on the live with him. So it feels like you guys are in the same room together. That, that I'm right, telling right. you, brings cohesion and it brings like connectivity between you and your partner like you wouldn't even believe. Yeah. Well, my brother left for the uh, for back to the regular job. We, we were sort of getting there because he was him and this other guy we had brought on. Um, we're getting there. The guy that we brought on was more of a um, integrator, and we were getting to what you're saying. It kind of just fell apart. So it was like, so you're 100 percent right. I know. So I've been I've been slacking myself. I'll put it all on me for sure. It's not that you're slacking. It's that you know it's the same thing where you've got to invest your time where you get energy back in return, and it sounds to me like. Excel, sending emails, tracking leads. Y your thought is like any other visionary. You're like, what? How does it? Why does it matter how sharp the axe is? I'm freaking swinging the piss out of this thing, and I'm working my guts out. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And I have that tendency too. So um, it's not that you're wrong about anything. It's not that you need to be doing Excel. It's not that you need to learn how to do all these things. You just need to push more of that on your partner. And you guys need to adjust the way you can communicate on a daily basis where you guys are on a Zoom. Don't be so isolated from each other. I feel like you guys are probably pretty isolated. Um, I would try and be on Zoom and feel like you're in the same room together. And I think that would elevate your conversations. And then on top of that, what I would do is um, obviously we're going to teach you how to con convert some of these seller conversations to go further in the seller finance realm. One thing that's amazing about creative finance one of hundreds of things about creative finance that's amazing is that creative finance actually gets us more cash deals than you would even believe. Because what happens is these sellers, right? We'll get on the phone with the sellers this Saturday for you. The sellers are having a dozen conversations with other investors and those other investors are not talking about terms. They're only talking about cash as well. And the person who typically gets the deal is the one who keeps the longevity of that relationship going further than anybody else. 
Creative finance opens up other doors and other opportunities to have more um, really good conversations with the seller. And we end up coming back to sellers a lot of times. They go, yeah, you know what? I love the creative finance stuff. That just doesn't work for me. I really like you over these other people. Why don't you just give me a cash number that really works for you? And then we can move them down the right direction because we kept going with them four or five conversations more than any other wholesaler was able to do. So um, we'll teach you all that kind of stuff. But I do feel like right. one of the biggest issues in your business is definitely you, we've got to get Shamir dialed in. And Shamir should be looking at you and going, Matt, I need to take all this stuff off your plate. You should not do anything but talk to sellers all day long. Do you agree with that, Cody? Like you should be doing nothing but talking to sellers. I mean, he's great at it too. I know Shamir, if you're listening, whether it's live or later, uh, I'm not. <laughs> he's Cody, good at, Cody, he's Cody good is good at, at it too. too. Okay. Cody, Cody's good at talking to sellers too. Like surprisingly good at talking to sellers. I tease and a lot of people tease yeah. Cody, but Cody's phenomenal. Um, and same, same thing with me. I can get, I can see spreadsheets better than most people ever can. I'm incredibly organized. I'm incredibly like dialed in on that stuff, but you know what? Cody's Superman with that. So I'm not going to try and do even a little teeny job of, of Superman's. I'm pushing it all on him. Okay. And I'm going to lose all my pride in saying, well, I can do that too, right? That's a challenge. So there is like remove all pride here. Whose job is what, right. right? And I actually do believe in pointing fingers. If we don't close contracts, whose fault is it? It's my fault or it's Matt's fault or it's the sales team's fault. If we don't have leads to talk to, whose fault is that? It's Cody's and Cody will admit that. And I think having fingers to point is actually a good thing and a really good partnership. But if you guys are both talking to sellers at this stage in the game, I think you have a problem. I think that that is an issue that there's a lot of integration that's not happening in your business yeah. when they really need, like he needs to be focusing on that. Did, Cody, am I wrong on any of this stuff? No, I mean, if the challenge is especially when it's like newer partnerships, you kind of step on each other's toes a lot, kind of doing a little bit of everything together. Everyone, everyone's doing a little bit of everything. And like the sooner you can kind of like del like, you know, this is your thing. This is my thing. And you can kind of get yourself out of like, well, how many calls did Shamir make today? And then how many did I make? Like, are we making the right amount of calls? And, you know, it's just, it's easier if you, you know, can get, in that conversation with Shamir of like, okay, I'm going to do this. You're going to do that. And, you know, have that open discussion about the things you're going to do and the things you're not going to do. So then you don't have to, you know, be both trying to do the same things because you, you get a lot further when you can divide and conquer than if you just were both trying to conquer everything. It's tough, man. This It's a tough business because when you learn some of this stuff for us now, talking to you, it sounds to us like common sense and super easy. But when we were getting together, Cody and I tripped all over each other for a while. Where oh, yeah. It was months. months. Yeah, it was months to get that figured out. And I, I feel like our worst category that we tripped over was disposition. Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. Because Cody brought his own set of buyers to the relationship and I brought my own set of buyers to the relationship and like the way I, you know, liked doing disposition, Cody did not. And so we didn't fight about it, but we were definitely stepping all over each other. And then we yeah. had the added element of my wife who was doing a lot of my business. It was like, how do we find Laura's role in the, all of this? There was a lot of that stuff at the beginning. Now, like oh, looking yeah. back on it, it feels like it was a four minute window, but it was really more like a three to five month window, right? Yeah, it was it was months of of uh, bouncing around, you know, just trying to, you know, get it all synced up. And like wondering how the other person feels about it. And like, I don't want to hurt this person's feelings and all of those things, the same stuff that you deal with, Matt. We Cody and I dealt with that as well. Yeah.